You remember Safina? You're still working with her? She's the one that got us caught. Not true, no. Without her, we all would have been caught. Oh, I love it. That's actress Daisy Head in the new Paramount film Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. It's a fun take on the legendary role playing game and we're lucky to have Daisy in studio with us today to talk about it. Welcome. Thank you so much. Good morning to you. And I, I know you're a little jet lagged. I can kind of relate to that slightly. <laughs> so we appreciate you being here. So this is a super exciting project. Were you one of the kids who played Dungeons and Dragons? I actually wasn't. You were? Wasn't Did you know anything player. about it before this project? No, I had friends who had played it. So I sort of had a rough idea of what the world was but it's so expansive and it's still growing it's an incredible world and i just feel honored to have been a part of this adaptation there's of it. definitely a cult following and has been for years and years and years so tell us about your character in the film so my character is quite an isolated creature um she is quite a dark character and she is essentially the villain of the piece. Um, but I wanted to ground her in some sort of reality, so I just developed a kind of backstory which allowed me to find some redeeming qualities to her personality and that she's the reason that she is for a reason. By no means does it justify the behavior, but she is really determined to have purpose and drive and find her place, mm -hmm. which is the reason behind doing what she does. Even a dark female villain can have some redeeming qualities, right? Right? Yeah. Somewhere. Um, and this is an all-star cast. Yes. Tell me about the cast and what it was like working with them. Oh my gosh, the cast is incredible. They are all so talented, but such wonderfully lovely, diverse, dynamic human beings. Uh, and I think that's so, what's so beautiful about this cast and also about the characters that they play is that it shows how important diversity is because it's redolent of the diversity that we see in the world that we live in. And I think it's all about embracing people's differences and not identifying them for them and then polarizing people because of them. Mm -hmm. I think this is just a lovely way to embrace everyone's differences. It's a microcosm of the actual world. Totally. Or maybe how it should be, right? Totally. Totally. <laughs> um, and this was shot in Ireland. How was that? A beautiful scenery. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. I went up to the northern coast when I was there and saw the Giant's Causeway, which is a natural rock formation made of like 40,000 like stone rock columns. Um, and just being in such epic landscape just really helped infiltrate into that kind of fantastical world that we're creating on set um, is just remarkable, remarkable scenery and just epic. What do you think people might be surprised about when they see this film? I think it has all the things that you'd expect from an action adventure. Like it's got humor, it's got action, it's got thrills, but it also has a lot of heart. And I think there's something beautiful in that that really juxtaposes the fantastical elements of this expansive universe that these characters inhabit. But I think there's something so beautiful about the emotionality and John and Jonathan did such a great job with the script in developing these characters and giving them heart and showing that vulnerability can actually be a great strength and about how people's differences can actually unite them and they can find a common goal. And I think it might not be surprising, but I think that's an element that stands out that hopefully people will take away from Maybe it. one of the main themes of the movie, and I can tell just by talking to you how richly you developed this character. So if everyone else did it the same way, it's going to be quite an epic treat to see. Quickly, before I let you go, what else are you working on now? I know you're traveling around. You had the premiere last night. You're jet lagged. You flew in. I am traveling What's next around. For you? So uh, second series of Shadow and Bone on Netflix mm. just released. Um, and then I am just about to go to Romania to do a Paramount miniseries. Um, based on the Civil War. Wow, you're a busy lady. We appreciate you being here. Can't wait to see the film. Thank you so much. Thank you so much very, for having me. Very nice to meet you. Likewise.